Hey, it's Mr. Xyrus here with another battle gameplay. Today we're featuring the Battle of Northern Italy between the forces of the French Empire and the Russian Empire. Leading the forces of the French today is Marshal Mira, and uh, leading the forces of the Russians today is uh, General Piot uh, Bagtarion, I believe is how you say it, or Bagrition. Um, we are about probably 50, 100 miles east of. Uh, Milan, Italy, and uh, the Russians captured Milan um, about a turn ago, and I was just outside of it. For some reason, the, the Italian army fled, and we probably would be able to. We probably would able would would have been able to defend if they would have stayed, but they left. So I had to f uh, flee as well. With this, um, I had this other army there, and then I brought this army in from Venice to recapture. But on the way there, they approached from the west, and here we are at the Battle of Northern Italy. If you look at my army today. I have back here three units of uh, light mortars. I also have three units, or two units of artillery, then four pounders, and some uh, eight pounders. I have four units of cavalry, some chasseurs, chasseurs, and uh, some heavy cavalry squadron of uh, um, uh, Marshal Miraz's own cavalry squadron, so very fierce. 200 men strong squadron of horses, some more light cavalry, and uh, some more cabrioneers. I also have some grenadiers in my reserve, I guess, behind this kind of mound. And I have two, uh, I guess you might say, brigades, uh, brigades of uh, a couple of battalions of uh, line infantry on both sides of my artillery. Um, and I have two uh, units of skirmishers of Voitigers um, up front, kind of laying some covering fire. I'll probably have them fall back in a bit. Um, I had to deploy first, so I didn't really know what the Russian position was going to be, so I just kind of made a very strong position with a generally strong center that can have artillery fire coming from two directions. And obviously you have the mortars in the rear firing some uh, shells in their center. If you look at the Russian army today, um, they have a couple units of light cavalry, some lancers, um, a lot of light infantry, I believe some militia, some couple of battalions of grenadiers, uh, some normal light infantry and some uh, skirmishers are uh, strictly about it, I believe, General's General Staff, and they have a couple units of artillery, obviously. Some 10 pound unicorns, and that might be it, actually. Our men are running, oh, that was a bad move me. I faced a so, cavalry attack by my skirmishers, so I'm having my other skirmishers fall back as well, while advancing my left wing of the infantry. Bringing my chasseurs into place in case they're needed. Bringing my light infantry up. Uh, Croatian um, infantry, light infantry men up front. See, the good thing about now is if they charge this little area, I have artillery coming from two different ways. You'll probably hopefully see some grape shot here if they can reload quickly now. My right wing's not really facing any action at the moment. Our men are running, sir. Looks like both my skirmisher battalions are retreating, unfortunately. Hopefully, they'll come back to the battle. Watch this grape shot blast here. See, that took about, about out about a hundred of their men. So I'm going to bring uh, Marshal Miha over by my left wing of line infantry because they're kind of, as you can see, facing a lot of approaching units. So that's why I'm advancing my right wing here to hopefully be able to, uh, they'll advance here in a second, hopefully be able to face off against some of these units while I give cover and fire from artillery. And I'll probably have to use some cavalry um, charges early in the battle, which I do not like to do, but this unit, or a battalion, or I should say squadron, is 200 horse strong, horses strong, so very powerful. I kind of made a mistake here by having them charge in the middle like that. I should have because you can see they're going to have one, two, three units surrounding them, and they're going, already going into units of four, or about three units. If they form a square, like I think they do in here a bit, and uh, it's kind of screwed, I guess. You can see my right wing approaching over there, with some uh, Cabernets behind them, 122 horses strong, so all another powerful you know, squadron of horses. I brought my uh, chasseurs over here in the rear, forcing some of their uh, skirmishers to retreat. I'll have them attack their artillery in a bit to get rid of their artillery. Some volley 
fire exchange going on here. Some question light of a tree. I tried to get my heavy cavalry to retreat, but they just kept like staying back to the battle, so. So see they're forming squares. So you have to get out of there as soon as you can. And I kinda need them you also need to use those two units of artillery to get units in here so they don't charge my mortars, because these mortars are really effective and just constantly laying down shelling. A lot of times the shells blow up in air, but when they do um, land on a, a battalion or infantry, they do actually explode on the ground. It's a devastating artillery um, blast that can kill 30 to 40 men sometimes. So some Russian units in the forest here. Bringing my grenadiers to the left side of my uh, army. Kind of this little central corridor here in case any more Russian troops advance. I kind of have to be careful here with my artillery fire because I don't want to try. I want to try not to hit any of my cavalry of uh, Marshal Mira's own squadron of uh, horse horses. Yeah, as you can see right there, they're not even firing because they don't want to have any friendly fire. I was already able to wipe out their artillery. Now I attack this uh, line of infantry battalion. Don't listen on that. This battle is not over. Um, this little battalion of musketeers, Russian musketeers. Hopefully my uh, uh, cavalry will be able to maintain this little engagement over here until my right wing approaches. I have to use my cabineers here or my uh, light cavalry to assist against these one or two or three units of Russians. The unfortunate thing is that even though they got some close Russian troops here, since they're in you know kind of skirmish or loose formation, grave shot isn't nearly as effective. Luckily I was able to put my artillery in this kind of favorable position by putting them on this hill. So that should uh, work out. My grenadiers there are still holding strong. My skirmishers looks like are returning to battle, so that's positive. Doing an infantry charge here to just get this volley fire over with. Light life tree into this um, brigade of infantry, and now they'll be kind of more bigger infantry unit. And now I can kind of approach their center from their right flank after I take care of these units. Unfortunately, my chassers are retreating, but I can rain some artillery fire over, so that's good as well. My finally, uh, Marshal Miraz cal cavalry are retreating. I shouldn't say finally, it's not a good thing. But but I am kind of dominating, or at least had an upper edge in the forest here. I was able to drive out some of their forces. I still have a pretty strong center, artillery-wise. Some favorable positions. They do have some uh, heavy cavalry. Taking some, it's uh, lost about 100 men. I don't know if they were hit by some artillery or something. Our men are running, sir. It's weird. My grenadiers are retreating. They must have taken some blow. I didn't see when I was looking somewhere else. See where my general is. This still my cabriniers. No, those are my chasseurs. But my cabriniers right here are still 120 men strong. So they'll try to wipe out these units in the forest. My general staff is still with my left wing. As you can see, they're kind of their rear centers uh, collapsing. So I'll be able to approach now the forest from uh, their right flank.
looks like Mirage ca cavalry are re returning. I'll probably have to use them to kind of attack some of these uh, stragglers or these people who are returning to the battle to prevent them from hitting my rear. I should probably bring uh, Marshal Mia over to this forest in a bit, but then again, some units are retreating, so. Our artillery are still strong, only I've lost two men. My other unit has lost only one man, so. And my mortars are continuing. No, no, not as effective now, obviously, as uh, they're kind of retreating, at least in their main center, but they are very effective at the onset of the battle. If I can reload quick enough and get some grape shot, I can uh, kill their general. Piot. General Piot. There goes the grape shot. And their general is retreating, so that's another pause moment. I didn't kill their general, but they're retreating. I'm uh, winning pretty decisively here in the forest. Only one unit of Russians remain in the forest. The infantry charge here inside the forest. My men are retreating, unfortunately, but I have some other units there to help support them. Grenadiers return to battle, but I probably won't need them. There's only one Russian unit remaining. I'll go ahead and give him a good old Cabernet charge. They are already retreating. So that will bring an end to the Battle of Northern Italy. A victory for the French and the command of Marshal Miha. Um, you can see they had about 500 to 600 more men than me, um, but I was able to pull through. Um, looks like with 408 kills, um, Marshal Miha's uh, own cavalry squadron is the battle unit of the day. Um, so uh, uh, I'll have a probably a medieval total war video. It's coming out soon, or um, yeah, probably medieval total war. Uh, and I'll have another one deploying one I'll come out soon as well. So thanks for watching. And other than that, this is Mr. X Irish. And I will have another video out soon.